Welcome back to The Division 2. In this video we are going through the best ways to earn loot in the game to make it less of a grind to grab like stuff you need for a build and just in general like get higher gear score and stuff if you're going through the world tiers. There are no glitches involved or anything like that, it's all legit farming. There's six tips in total. For starting off, number one, we have control points. I wouldn't say these are any good below world tier four. Just because as soon as you hit world tier 4, they become linked to a network and any surrounding activities are going to increase the alert level which is going to improve your loot. You can still get good loot before world tier 4, it's just at world tier 4 it gets a lot better. So if we take a look at the vault, this is level 1 and then if you look at the lines that come off it, all those activities are part of the network. So if we was to go and take down the territory control, the resource convoy and the public execution, this control point would go up to a level 4. It would be crazy difficult, but if you manage to take it down you would have the best possible loot you can get out of the control point. Obviously it changes every single time. I would stick to level 3 with these, I wouldn't go for 4, just because for the amount of extra effort you're going to have to put in, the loot doesn't seem to be that much better. But control points are the first thing to do if you want to grab yourself some loot. Number 2 is going to be your daily missions. You get two of these, normally you get a hard and a challenging, like I've got now Space Admin HQ is hard, then I've got American History Museum on challenging. Looking on the left hand side of the screen, you can see that I get awarded sharpshooter points, so it helps build up your specialisations as well. You're going to get XP from these, and I get one equipment item for completing the project. Then if we view the mission on the map, it's going to show you all the loot you get. You also get target intel, you get XP to level up, you get shade supplies, you get specialization points, and you can see here from taking down the boss and the daily reward, so that includes the project reward, we're going to get five high-end items, and then obviously killing enemies during that mission gives you a chance of getting extra drops as well. So you could potentially get up to like eight to ten drops just for that one mission. Missions don't take too long, and the hard ones if we go back and have a look at the project, the Space Admin HQ, you can obviously do this on challenging if you want to, the project will complete as long as you're doing it on hard or a higher difficulty. So this time around on hard difficulty we're going to get four high end drops and then the enemies can drop them as well. So I would say you're probably looking at maybe in between six to eight drops for that one mission and hard is going to be a lot quicker than challenging. Plus you still get some target intel, you get some decent XP to work towards your field proficiencies and you still get a sharpshooter point as well, or whatever your specialisation is, I'm running sharpshooter for the time being. Number three is going to be the bounties. These go all the way up to heroic, they can become really tough, but there's plenty of them, you don't have to do the heroic one, and they give you a decent amount of loot. If we take a look in the southwest region, we have four different bounties we can do, and one of the best things about the bounties you have to use target intel for some of them, but the best thing is sometimes you're going to be given a specific item. Well, not necessarily item, but an item from a specific category. So here you can see, for this one, it's challenging difficulty. We're going to get some XP for it, we get a faction key, we're going to get four high-end equipment item drops, and the weapon drop. This one we're going to get three equipment items, a faction key, even some credits, XP, that's on hard difficulty. And then the normal one, which is going to take probably 2 or 3 minutes if your build's good enough. 20,000 XP, 4,000 credits, 2 equipment items and a faction key. Again, the enemies can drop extra loot. And the heroic one, I think it's this. Because that's linked between all of them. And I can't see it because I haven't unlocked it yet. There's 2 enemies, I'm going to guess you're probably going to get 5 or 6 different high-end drops. But then if we come over to the left hand side, you can see there, that is guaranteed it's going to give you an LMG that's high end. You can get that for any category of gun, like any gun class. You can get marksman rifle, rifle, AR, SMG, LMG, shotgun, so on and so forth. So bounties is number three. Number four, a lot of you are probably not going to want to do this, but the dark zone is a place where you can get a lot of loot. You don't have to do any PvP. If you go into the occupied one, there's more of a chance you're going to encounter PvP, but you don't necessarily have to do it. Just go in there, farm the landmarks, kill the enemies. You're going to get a lot of loot that isn't contaminated, so you don't have to extract it. You can just pick it up, whack it in your inventory, 
get out of there and be done with it. The Dark Zone seems to have a better drop rate, so I would just give it a go and see if you get on with it. Even if you don't like the idea, just give it a try. Number five, the penultimate, is underground sections. You can see there's one here that goes from the right hand side to the left or vice versa, just south of the White House. There's some down in West Potomac Park down here that have much bigger sort of areas to loot around. But these can give gear crates, gun crates, you can get materials, you can get the faction keys down there from the cabinets on the walls. There's a lot of potential from the undergrounds. And not only that, because you're underground you have less of a chance of encountering enemies. So it's more of a chilled, laid back sort of loot run, if you want to call it that. And last but definitely not least, we have everywhere in DC. I'm going to go in depth, there's not much depth to it, but I will give you a little bit of... Like, I'm going to elaborate, basically. I'm not just going to leave the video and say, right, that's it, go look around DC, blah, blah, blah. You have, right next to the White House, in this little building here, you've got what I used to call Loot City, but after doing a bit of research, I'm not going to call it that anymore. You just have a little loot run you can do. There's a hyena crate there. It's a decent run. You get lots of materials as well. But I've shared this in a video before, and I'm going to put it in this one. There is a Division 2 map. I don't think it gets updated. But it's going to help you guys out a lot. There is loads of different stuff, easter eggs and everything. I've used it for a few videos now. It just has such a big list of the things you can find, like collectibles, echoes, airdrops, everything like that. Altogether, there is 61 airdrop locations on this map. There are 310 gear crate locations and 205 weapon crate locations pinpointed on this map. What makes it even better is I had a look and I've tried finding what I think is the best spot to go loot in. And from what I've found, if we take a look back down in the southwest region, in this region alone, just the one that's highlighted in white around the edge, there is 31 gear crates. So you're going to get vests, you're going to get backpacks, knee pads, holsters. There are four faction crates which are going to give you gear as well. And there's 29 weapon crates just in this region. So that means just here alone in Southwest, there are 64 lootable crates. That is a hell of a lot of loot. I think the left hand side of this region is the best. But what I'm going to do is leave you guys with the map in the description. Check it out. Have a look. It's mad how many things have been pinpointed to do with gear. Not only that, but it shows ammo resupplies. There's lots of stuff on there. And also, if you know any ways other than this to get lots of loot without glitching, I don't care about glitches, that's efficient, it's going to get you some good like, amounts of high-end gear, then leave it in the comments, share it with everyone, and I'm going to leave the video there. I hope it helps you guys out. Thank you for watching.